Oh, I never did live on Facebook before. Here we go. All right. Good afternoon. Today is September 29th, 2020. As usual, most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for another opportunity of prayer. We thank you, God, for waking each and every one of us up this morning. God, I thank you for this episode, oh God. Oh God, I ask you, God, that you would just have your way as we converse about what's going on in our society. Oh God, I send special prayers to Miss Tamika Palmer, as well as the family of Brianna Tell. Oh God, we ask you, God, that you prove yourself as a comforter and a keeper mm. during these times as they grieve. And oh God, we ask you, God, in your precious sons in the Jesus name, that we get justice in some kind of form. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So today, amen, um, amen, amen. you know, we uh, normally I like to keep it kind of light and keep it kind of funny. But tonight we're going to talk about something that's seriously going on. The indictment just came down this previous week. So right now, the night show is going to be dedicated to our fallen queen, uh, Brianna Taylor. You know, we're going we're going to jump into this whole thing here. Um, mm -hmm. I know some of you guys on. Thank you guys for that tuning in. As usual, keep your comments, and your questions coming in. Chime in, be a part of the show. You know, be a part of the conversation with us. Uh, we got the Lie Olympics that's starting at nine o'clock, so I know some of you guys gonna want to tune into that. But <laughs> who cares about a lie fest where you could we could really talk about something that really matters, something that needs to be talked about. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna introduce nice guests. Um, I got my my family here, Jill, Miss Jill Vega. Um, and I also have my brother, Kevin Daly, hey. here with us. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Jill. Introduce yourself to the people and greet the fans. My name is Jill Vega, Jersey girl. Living down here in the South right now. Chilling. Chilling. Trying to make a living. And That's trying to stay above ground. But uh, I'm retired. Army. Okay. And living life. Got a military Glad lady with So that, and, that, and that's why I wanted you on this particular topic because I know you probably was in the loop, and I know how I know you personally. I like, like I said earlier, you know, I like straight no chasers, and that's just what the people gonna get. So I definitely wanted to have is. you on <laughs> so you can share your views on everything that we gonna get into tonight. Um, some of you guys may remember him from from the previous shows. He's been on two other shows with me before. The Brothers Edition, as well as the Father's Day Edition, my big bro, Dr. Kevin Danley. We thank yes, you for your time, man. Greet the people. Yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate you having me back. Uh, it's nice to be on. I mean, obviously, the, the topic isn't the greatest topic, um, you know, but it's, it's still a necessary one to discuss. But yeah, Kevin Danley um, from Newark, uh, Jersey, Jersey boy. Um, Spent 25 and a half years in the Air Force. Uh, I've been retired for five years now and have my own life coaching business. So, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. So, on on March 19th, 2020, our sister Brianna Teller was murdered in her apartment. And before we before I even go farther with the show, I want to be clear to the to the viewers. I'm not somebody that's well versed in this. Um, I just shared with the other panel members that this happened on March 13th, and I have literally not watched one news story. I haven't read an article on this here. I just started doing my homework this week because me personally, I couldn't take no more BS. I couldn't take no more. I didn't even want to hear what they had to say because just knowing that a police officer murdered a young person in their apartment was enough for me to know whatever the narrative is that they're going to share with us is something that I do not want to hear because I'm quite sure that it is not the truth. So I didn't even want to judge in exactly. that and you know, my involve my my time, my effort, my emotions into it. But my my prayers were with her, with her family, you know, because it was it was definitely an unfortunate situation. And when the indictment came down this previous week, I said this week's show has to be on this. You know, I got to do my homework this week here. I waited to the last minute because I didn't want to be too emotional. But I, I crammed up. I got my, my facts together, did my research, and we're going to talk about it tonight. But like I said, it was on 
um, March 19th, March 13th, 2020, where police officers in Louisville, Kentucky were, uh, they were, they were uh, serving a no not warrant. So I kind of want to start there. The fact that we, me, me personally, I have no issue with the warrant. But the fact that you have to call a warrant a no not warrant is problem no, warrant. Especially in the climate that we're living in now where people are carrying everybody, if they're not carrying yet, they preparing themselves to start carrying. And you know, that's a whole nother topic for, that's the whole nother subject matter for me because I'm 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 a I'm a very spiritual person. I was brought up in the church, but I also have street knowledge and thank God for both of them, you know. But one of the realest things that I ever heard in my life that I always tried to live by was something that Biggie had in one of his rhymes, you know, real bad boys move in silence. I've never understood the you flashing, you know, because I know people that are robbers. I know people that are. So the fact that you out here showing all that you got, you just make yourself an easier target. You know what I mean? If you out here saying, well, yeah, I got four or five mm -hmm. guns in the car, then I know when I come at you, I got to come correct. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not going to size you up like an average person that I don't know what they holding. Just the fact that you talk about it all the time, okay, guess what? I'm going to have that heat for you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be ready for you. So I, I never understood mm -hmm. that aspect of it. But a no not warrant in, in, in general is pretty much where the court, a judge, has officially signed off on a warrant to be served on uh, the defendant, so to speak, and they get the right to so not knock. They just get to knock your door in and come on in and do what they want to do, find out what they want to find. Um, now, once again, I have no problem with all with a warrant, but, and I'm going to let you guys, you know, start chiming in here. From the research that I did, though, and hearing from the officers that's involved, even though a no-knock warrant was issued, they decided that to, to take it upon themselves, so they say, to not use the no-knock warrant. They said they knocked several times and announced they so. So I don't have any military experience. I'm quite sure both of you guys are well more versed than strategy than I am. If we are issued a no not warrant that's signed by a judge, why would we take upon ourselves to say when we get to the door that now we're not going to execute a no not warrant? We're gonna we're gonna decide to knock and alert the person oh, no. that we're coming to get to let them know. No. Like how does how does that work? Well, first of all, it's because they're not being truthful about it. And there were, they had one person. Now, now this, this is what they like to do. They will put out not even necessarily disinformation, but misinformation. Well, you know what? I take that back. Not necessarily misinformation, but disinformation. Um, because they are trying to hide things, obviously. But they had this one person that they claimed, well, we have this one person who was a neighbor who came forward and said that he heard us um, say that we were the police, <laughs> all right? Now, two things with that that are problematic. One, what they don't tell you is that they asked this guy four different times to corroborate their story. The first three times he said, no, I didn't hear them say that. The fourth time, all of a sudden, he agrees to it. Why is that? All right. We have no idea why all of a sudden he changed his mind. All right. And I'm not going to sit here and speculate. You yeah. already know. Yeah. But the other part to that is there mm -hmm. were 12 other people that they didn't talk about, that the news don't talk about. 12 other people in the vicinity who said, did never, Witnesses. never once did they hear a cop say, we're the police. Mm -hmm. When her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, said, who is it at the door? He asked numerous times, who's at the door? 12 other people said they never heard it. One person said he heard it, but it was on the fourth time of them asking. But they don't tell you all that. That's the stuff that's behind the scenes 
that for whatever reason, people don't like to do their research and they just go on what they hear initially. You know, mm -hmm. if the news says this, then, then that must be the facts. But when you dig deeper, these are the facts. This yeah. is the stuff that you can find, but it's just not right in your face. Like the stuff they want to be in your face is. And it's funny that you you went there, Kev, because in part of my doing my research, I watched the uh the New York Times documentary that, that Hulu has. And yeah. I, I thought that I like I didn't mean to laugh because it's not funny, but it was actually funny to me when they brought him when they interviewed him. Like not not no disrespect to nobody, but I thought it was real peculiar that, like you said, they had to they interviewed all these other neighbors, the dude that's right downstairs from us. Right. He right. heard nothing. Nobody else heard nothing except for this dude that lives in the next building that just so happened to look like I'm like like I said, no disrespect, looks like an immigrant to me. And hey, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say whatever I got to say because I don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? He said the officer told him, "Go back in your house. If you don't want to have anything is. to do yeah. with this, go back in the house." Yeah. Now all of a sudden, your 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 story backs them up, and then it's like. Well, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead and chime in before I, I, I keep going deeper. Yeah, I don't know which part now. Y'all don't say it so much. <laughs> Listen, no knock, no knock warrant. The mm. military, you have an order. You do what the order says. Why are you going to knock if it's a no knock warrant? That doesn't make sense. You're going to follow your orders. Yeah. You're coming in unexpectedly. So you want to knock and let him know you're there so he can get ready? That don't make no sense. <laughs> Not to There's mention the fact that they, lies, they admitted so. that they knew they were serving it on a young female. Exactly. Exactly. It's too many lies. When you got the warrant, my question I want to know is, when you got the no-knock warrant, was it before or after they already had arrested who they were looking for, which was the ex-boyfriend? Was that before or after you got the no-knock warrant? Because when they went to oh, the it house, had to be after because my research from, from says some of the stuff that I read in custody. Yeah, but from what I read, he had he was already in custody because they have phone records from where he made when a phone got, call to her from the jail. When they got the no knock warrant. No, that's what I'm saying. He was, he was already incarcerated. Yeah, he was arrested the same day. It was they they haven't really specified whether it was they trying to make it seem like he was being arrested pretty much the same time like gotcha. there was another set of cops arresting him at the same time that they were killing uh brianna taylor um but it was definitely the same day because it was 12 30 in the morning uh, mm -hmm. on the 13th um when right. they heard brianna taylor i don't know the exact time because there's been a lot of different it's smoke and mirrors so there's, yeah. there's been a lot of different uh Right, you know, right, right. Dated about the time, the exact time that they went and got the ex boyfriend, Jamarcus Glover is his name. Yeah. Um, but, but so he was know. already out of jail by the time March 13th. He had got no, released from. No, he was in jail. The they thing. had just arrested him. Yeah. So, okay. But the timing is not, you know, there's, there's a lot of different um, reports about the exact timing of when he was arrested. Yeah, that's why I was asking because I, I know that when, um, like I said, on the documentary, they show they actually play a phone conversation where he calls her collect from jail that they say took place in either January or the end of February, the end of January or the beginning of February. Oh, that was a that was a different arrest though. He was. So that, that's what I'm saying. So he hadn't got out since then. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, that, right, that was a different right. arrest. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, like you said, with the smoke and mirrors, another thing that I had did in the, in the research was they say that the the judge she issued five warrants. Five warrants in there. Now, I know police officers. I know people that's in the military. For the most part, uh, if you're not, you're a North police, that doesn't mean you get to police any place that you want to in North. You have, a, you have a designation. You have a, you know what I mean? You have a district that you belong to, so to speak, whatever, right. a unit. Four of, the, four of those units were within, four of those warrants were within two blocks of each other. Three of them all on the same exact street. That the ex-boyfriend, Mr. Glover, lived at. Brianna Taylor's apartment is all the way across town. <laughs> so, like, how, like, 
but where, wow. where, where, where is the people talking about this at? You know, just the just the small things, just the small things. Not not what they reported to us, not what they're telling us, but the things that make sense. The things that like that doesn't make sense to me for a a, a unit that's supposed to be executing warrants to have five warrants and four of them is in one general location. That way, they don't have time to notify each other that all right, they just hit us, they hitting us, they coming your your way. You know what I mean? They want to hit it and impact it quick. Why would you have four in one central location, but one all the way across town? Yeah, and I I, I hadn't heard. I yeah, I didn't know much about that part of it until you just said it. So, yeah, but it's all again. It's it's none of it really makes sense. And something that I was saying, some uh, that I was saying to someone just in the last few days, is that it's obvious. It, it's evident that they have taken all this time to try to, 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 you know, with the smoke and mirrors to mm -hmm. just put out there um, what they really want to put out there up. because of the fact that, you know, good and well from, from, from what's happened in the past, if she had legit done something wrong, if it was legit, if she had some criminal background or she legit did something wrong, the first thing they would have done, the first thing that would have been reported within hours of her being murdered was her criminal background. Exactly and that. Exactly. This is why we did we her did criminal this background. She, you got that this right. she yep. did this and she yep. did that. Yep. All right. That's the first yep. thing they throw out there as though yep. that's justification. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to get into the fact that regardless of somebody right. being a criminal in the past or not does not justify a cop killing them, period. I don't mm -hmm. care what they've done. They they do There's no justification right. for a cop murdering someone uh, that's unarmed, regardless of their criminal history. But again, to, to the point that I'm making, it's evident that they knew they were wrong because it's been six months. And what have you heard really negative about her in these last six months, right? All of a sudden now, all these little things start trickling, um, trickling out and, and it's, it's, it's because now they're like, okay, we're kind of between a, a rock and a hard place here. So we got to try to make ourselves look good the best way possible. You yeah, know, we dropped the ball. Trying now, to cover it up. Now she was a drug mule. Covering it up. And she, you know, he, she was hiding money and drugs at her place for him, which by the way, there's zero evidence of that. Zero. Mm -hmm. Zero evidence. They found nothing. No drugs. They didn't find no anything. There's nothing to state that, that to state that that's what was happening. And even when they questioned him, they tried to give him the ex boyfriend, Jamarcus Glover. They tried to give him uh, a plea deal to say, essentially, to come to come forward and say, to "Turn on yeah, her. This is yep. what she was doing for me." Wow. He didn't take it. Yeah. Take it. Yep. What he Thank told God. Me, yes. Yes. Y'all did see me coming out of her apartment sometimes with us with uh you know ups packages and that's because i live in a damn hood was what he said i live in a hood and people still when i have stuff coming to me you know if i order something online and i have stuff coming to my house people steal my shit from my door yeah so i had it sent to her <laughs> you know and, and whether that's truthful or not i don't know who's to say whether he's being honest or not yeah you can't say that you can't prove you that can't he's not prove that he's lying for yeah. one there's no proof that he's lying. right and for two right that's logical if you live in the hood you know that that's something that's very logical improbable even you know so them trying to slander her mm -hmm. name that way is just their way of trying to cover their tracks and trying to cover their asses and it's not going to work mm -hmm. yeah I, and i don't get it i don't get it they couldn't uh, find that Nona. That's why it took them so long to come out with the stuff. Yeah. And then it's like exactly. I, I seen where Barkley, who I used to, I mean, I used to so look up to Charles, man. I can't, I I, I gotta renounce my, my Charles Barkley fan membership. Like, cause Charles just be saying some of the dumbest things ever to me now. Like, I can't, I can't do it, bro. I can't. You're I very can't late do doing that. You're very late. You're very late. Hey, I, I'm I'm late. You I'm late getting off the bandwagon. <laughs> Because, yeah. like, back in the day, he was my guy, but he sounds like a pure idiot. He sounds like a pure idiot. He's no the different than that... Ben Carson, Candace Owens, you know, Jason <laughs> Whitlock, and all the rest of them. He's no better exactly. than that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He tried, yeah. And actually, he's trying to climb yeah. up in those ranks. That's what I think it is. Yeah. I think he's, he's trying to climb up. up in those ranks because he's not as notable in those ranks. But when he said that, you know, 
you can't lump them into the same thing because the the boyfriend shot at the police. Okay. Whatever your point of view is, granted, you're entitled to it. This is my thing, though. Again, you're talking about a team of officers that was executing the warrant. How is it that first of all they say that they not they say that they not announce themselves? They he say that they did. That's up for debate. Point is, you know that he shot and fired his licensed gun. Yep. At least one time. Yeah. How do you explain the fact that you run into somebody's apartment? And the person that that shoots at you is the person that does not get shot at all, but the other person in the apartment gets shot eight times. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to dominate the conversation. How do I raise my hand? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Dominate. You go ahead. I'll talk (laughs) after you. How do I raise my hand? How? My question. How? There's there's another ballistic report came out. Yeah. They saying the boyfriend's gun bullet didn't shoot no cop. Yeah. That ain't his bullet in the, the cop's thigh. Okay. Right. But that's not a justification for them to come in there and kill her. You see what I'm saying? Even I if he, he was in fear for his life, yeah, he anybody, that's normal. Somebody coming in and banging at my door, shit. Somebody passed by the window. I'm telling my husband, go get shit, you know, because hey. You're not gonna let nobody come in your door and not defend yourself. That's self-defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether they knock or not knock, all them cops out there, you know, tell me, people didn't hear them. They wasn't quiet as a mouse. Come on, when you you moving with all that gear, you ain't quiet out there. I don't know where she lived at. If she lived in the hood or whatever, where you know, people we outside all the time being nosy. So you gonna gonna tell me they just creeped up on her and nobody saw nothing? Yeah, they said it was yeah. like 12 40 in the morning. 12.40 after midnight or whatever. But the fact that it remains Come on, the same, now, nobody said, else heard nothing. I said we home, out. we outside. Right, but you yeah, know we outside somebody. all the time. Okay. Somebody's outside. Somebody, mama, somebody's outside. Yeah. And, Looking, and you're exactly right noticing. about that ballistics report. And he, they're, they're, they have the 911 recording. All right, he called 911 and said, look, right. somebody's trying to break into our house. You know, um, they have that recording. It's 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 that's fact, all right. Um, and like like you said, Mar, he's a licensed carrier. He was licensed to have his gun. He said he shot a warning shot, all right. And 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 what they oh, just said, you're so exactly the, right. Yeah. They came out with a ballistics report over the last couple of days, and which is stating that it doesn't even look like his shot is the one that hit the cop. It looks like the cop got hit by friendly fire. Mm-hmm. All right, friendly so, fire, <laughs> you friendly know, fire. And, and he, and, and again, and they arrested him, um, the new boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, but they had to release him, which I think it took a month for him to get released, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was a month. Why was he even arrested for that long, considering he was uh, licensed to carry his gun? Y'all are breaking into this man's house. He was well within his rights to shoot. If he wanted to do right. more than shoot a warning shot, he was within his rights of doing that. If he wanted to unload right. a clip right. into somebody, into one of those cops, he was well within his rights because it was a no-knock warrant. Mm-hmm. Right? You coming up in my house, I don't know who you are. You're not telling me who you are. So I'm going to unload You didn't announce gun. yourself. And then I'm probably going to grab another one. Yeah. But anyway, that's kind of a side <laughs> point. But yeah, I mean, so <laughs> so that's just, it. it they, they have no proof of anything there's no proof of any wrongdoing on on her part um everything that went down it, it's it's pretty much factual that the cops were really the ones well i can't say they were in the wrong legally i guess because it was a no knock warrant but they were at all time for them yeah. to shoot like that was just it was it was uncalled for obviously obviously uncalled for yeah and that, like i said i don't understand how it is first of all I'm a simple kid from North. Excessive. I'm a Excessive. simple kid from North. Both of you guys help me understand this, okay? Like you say, we discussed the phone, the fact that he called the police. You know, somebody is trying to break in. All right? But there's also another phone conversation where he's like, oh, my God, they shot her. She's laying here breathing. We're talking right. to the 911 operator. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, as officers of the law, if you go to execute a warrant, somebody fires at you you fire back at them 
Like, at what point does he make this second phone call? Like, how is it that he's able to make the second phone call to say that she's actually shot? And have time to talk to the 911 operator as opposed to them coming to get her out. Because then if you look wow. at the video footage, they got they telling him, and man, I, I don't even like the, I don't even want to talk about this part because I watched the, you know, the show that I watched where you know they made fun or, or even like black ink crew, you know, like down in South Carolina. You know, they're, they're you still in quite sure in Georgia too, all these different places. You can literally go pay to go take tours of one day plantations. Like right now, 2020, you go see literal plantations. You go see the fields, and they're going to give you the whole narrative of what's going on there. Like, I really want to hear about that. You know what I mean? Hmm. But at the same time, when you study the history of, of the police, while the police were formed and created, only thing the police was done was a new title that was put on slave catchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they were literally slave yep. catchers. Okay. One of them slave patrols. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So my problem with that is, for one, we wasn't people. We wasn't human beings. We was nothing but property. A living, breathing soul was nothing but property. But here it is. I'm watching this video and you got the officers steady yelling at him, telling him to back up to me, back up to me. And the dog is literally going crazy. crazy. You can tell this dog is trained to kill yep. minority. And if you don't if you don't back on up to us, yeah. we go on. And it's like, I looked at it like some of these guys, I believe that is the same mentality as going to visit these plantations. I wish I would have known what it was like to be a slave yes. and lynch somebody and kill somebody and be able to get away with it. I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. And it's like, dude, are you serious? If you don't get if you don't get back here, we're gonna put this dog on you. We're gonna put this dog on you. This is after the dude is already his girlfriend is laying up there dying. If she's not dead already, you know what I mean? Like this dude is no threat to you. The whole parking lot was full of officers. So what is what what is you can hear the hate it's beyond excessive force in his voice. And then and I, don't, the oh man, I don't understand there's too many gaps. Like where did where did it go from y'all knocking in the door because the door is literally off the hinges to him still being able to make a 911 call and y'all being out there in the parking lot? Like how did y'all get out the park? How did y'all get out the apartment or the breezeway or the doorway all the way back to the parking lot to give him, you know what I mean? Like it's too many holes in the story that don't make sense. And then they sent the mom to the hospital. They sent the mom to the hospital like that's where Breonna Taylor was. Oh, that broke when my she heart. Was still laying in her apartment dead. But that they broke took my heart. Oh my to the hospital. That broke my heart because the mom oh said God. it was 11 o'clock the yes. next morning, almost 12 hours before she got back there. And the officer told her then, ma'am. She said, where's my daughter? Your daughter's gone. After being waiting for 12 hours, they didn't even tell her that her daughter was dead. The way, the way he specifically oh told her God. was, she is still in the apartment. And she said the way that he said that, he, she knew what it meant. She yep. knew he was dead. Yep. Mm. Just like they so they still like didn't even have the decency to tell her mom that she was slain. Yeah. They some dogs, man. Oh my God, they ain't got no soul. No and heart then, at all. And, and then on top of it, they admitted they didn't even know that her little sister lived with her. Like, it just so happens that her little sister was away. She was away. Had the Thank sister God been in there, that. she might have been killed Ooh. as well. And we're talking about a little girl. I got a question. All them bullets that they shot, what it was, 30 rounds or more? I don't remember the count. Yeah, I don't remember I the count it was a lot. 30 or more, whatever. Why the boyfriend didn't get shot? That's he what didn't I'm get saying. one nick on him. He didn't get one nick on him. Not one. Yeah, I, I the person that shot that at you well, off Yeah, what that's But about. she got eight. how she yeah. get eight? And he didn't get one. And I like you that's said, what, that's what I'm saying. That's how he come out point. of there? How did he come out of there? At, they're all in the parking lot. He's walking back. I saw the video. He's walking back with his hands up. I know more police were called after he called 911. Right. But it looks like those were the guys that were in there shooting the way he was talking to them. Get your ass back. Get down. Get down. Get down. I'm going to set the dog on you. You could feel the hate in that guy's heart. You exactly. could hear it when he was talking to him. You could, oh, I felt I was like, oh, my God. Nothing but hate out there. But how how he come out? with They shot and then they just went back to the parking lot or oh, we'll wait for somebody to come out. You done busted the door already open. So once you busted the door, you shoot her, 
He right there. Where'd he go? Out the window and came back in? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand that part either. <laughs> I don't. I they don't left out, it. and then they saw, okay, you come out later? <laughs> you know, he should have been out in handcuffs because you was already in there shooting at them because you went in. You, you knocked or you didn't knock, but you bust the door down. So you in there already. <laughs> but you left and left him in there to come out on his own. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. No sense. It's too many holes. It's on no many. level. And then it's like None. when we talk about Officer Hankerson, like I don't even want to get started started oh, with him. Yeah. Like he goes back in there. Come find out, like he goes back. But in before there. he goes back in there, they saying that I'm. Well, they not saying, but I would think that it's very highly probable that it was his gun that shot the officer, because they say he was literally outside mm -hmm. shooting from downstairs through a sliding patio door and a closed window at midnight. You have no idea who you shooting inside that building from the outside. You don't know if you shooting the victim. You don't know right. if you shooting your homies. You don't know if you shooting the plants. You don't know nothing. You just shooting. That's a trigger happy. Not to mention, they said that they have 20 incidents of excessive force that's been documented on this guy. Yeah. And he has never been reprimanded once. How is that possible? <laughs> and I'm not laughing because it's funny. You know, sometimes you gotta laugh just to keep your sanity. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, you know. gotta laugh to keep from crying right here. But let me exactly. read my notes real quick. It said Henderson did not shoot at the neighbor's wall. There's a video out that that Kendrick guy put out. They did have body cameras on, I guess when they came outside was talking mm. about it. The body cam shows Hankerson in there trying to find out whose casing is that? Whose casing is that? Who's that one that went over there in the wall? Another officer says, that's mine. So whatever the AG is trying to get on Hank, that Wong Tong charge, he didn't even yeah, the shoot at the neighbor's endangered. wall. That was another mm -hmm. officer. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even shoot at the wall. It's crazy. He didn't even shoot at the wall. That's another officer that shot at the neighbor's wall. It's and too unfortunately, much stuff. though, even though you're it's right about much. the body cams, the body cams were on the cops that were, you know, that that came after the cops who yeah. who, who busted for the nine one one call. They right. didn't have any. Yeah, you know. Right, right. Could and then right. neither one of you guys yeah, the law yeah, enforcement, but but explain that to me, Ken. Explain what sense would that make to me that if the chief of police say that. We've instituted a, a, a new program where officers have to wear these body cams. Why is it that this one unit gets the option on, well, we not wearing body cams and everybody else got to wear them? You already know the answer to that. You feel it? <laughs> why, why are you going to wear a body cam to go do some dirt? Exactly. We can't, we can't let y'all see what we do. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and they let them get away with it. I don't understand how that's even possible. No, if everybody got to wear body cams, everybody got to wear body cam. It's not optional for you guys. Everybody got to wear body cams. And the only reason exactly. that they even charged Hankerson anyway is because they fired him back in June. All right. He was already fired. He's no longer on the police force. So he could be hung out to dry now. If he was right, still a cop, right. they State wouldn't have been charged yep. him with State it. Go. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I think what it was, was I think he had so many exactly. incidents. That they had no choice. Like you, the, you the obvious scapegoat, bro. He like you got to wear this. Lamb, the scapegoat. You, you got to wear this. <laughs> yeah. We can't help you, yo, because we got too many well, files out here. You got to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there too many charges against? Too many accusations against you? So you got to eat yeah. this one for us. Yeah, like sorry, buddy, but uh, yeah, you are gonna have to take this one for the team. Yeah, he got he got thrown under the bus. Yeah, easy. Yeah. It's one of those things where they're like, we got to do something because. But these black folk will not leave us alone. Uh, we, we have to do something. So he's that something. He was a sacrificial lamb. And yeah, he, they told him, look, dude, you're going to have to take one for the team. Sorry. And, 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 and look what look what taking one for the team equated to. Losing your job. Yeah. Yeah. Not your life. Not a prison sentence. Exactly. All you did was lose your job. Yeah. And that is an atrocity. Something has to change. With the, you know, me and Kay, we talked about it in the other episode. They don't need to fix the system. The system is working the way it's designed. Yep, until it we do away with the system exactly. completely, nothing is ever going to matter. 
I don't care how many anti law nope. women. I don't care about the Brianna to tell the law now all of a sudden. It's nope. just wording to make you feel better to try to nope. calm your period. But if, if nothing changes at the core, at the heart of man, none of that makes any difference whatsoever. And I need people to understand that. a new system. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's why I said what I said system. on that last, uh, the last um, time we, we did a recording together. But yeah, I mean, the system, people say the system needs to be fixed. It, no, it needs to be broken. The system is yeah. working. It's working exactly the way that it was designed. And that's the problem. It needs to mm -hmm. be broken. For them. You know? Because until we actually talking about- that's terrible. It, 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 it's, it's sad because until we're talking about real, real, and, 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 and I know, I know, I know we have some Caucasian people out there, they rocking with us. You know what I mean? They rocking with us. Sure. But it doesn't matter if your heart is in the right place if if things don't change. It takes all of us. It's not, it's not about just going out here marching. Like we get we need, we got to change these laws. We got to put people in place that we hold accountable to enforce these laws, the reason that we put you in office, you know what I mean? Not to go to the highest bidder, not to take care of the people with the money that have all the say so. It's funny to me how on March 13th, they walk into the apartment and murder her when the boyfriend, even though he was arrested for attempted murder, they question him the next day. The shooting officer, the officer, one of the officers, three officers that was involved, the first interview that they did was on March 25th, 12 days later. How is that possible? You know what I mean? Like, you know how many different stories you could come up with, revamp and everything else after an involved? Right. I, I, like I said, I've right. never been an officer, but I thought if you were involved in an officer, an officer involvement shooting, then you automatically is supposed to be, you got to go CIA. You know what I mean? They're going to interview you right then. Not to mention, like you said, they got exactly. video footage of Hankerson at the scene. This is after the fact that they say when it initially happened, he disappeared for more than two hours. Yep. So now how is it that you, if you disappear from the scene of the crime because you were dirty or whatever the case may be, whatever you reason you left, even though as a sworn police officer, you know you had no business leaving that scene if you was involved, you left. But you come back and now you're going to be in the crime scene and you hear the you hear the you hear the, the SWAT person telling him, "Sir, I think you need to back up. You need to get up out of here right, until the people right. get hit." And he's still walking around in it, like. And, but this dude is still free. I'm trying to find his cases, yeah. he's still free. So I don't want to. I don't care. Like I said, I, I thank God that we do have a law named after her. But listen, that, that that's one of the realest sayings ever. It's not enough. And I'm the, I don't enough. condone violence, whatever. But what I'm telling you is fact. When people say no justice, no peace, no peace. that's exactly what it means. Yeah. That's exactly what it means. Absolutely. We are not going to have peace until we get justice, until we treat it like human beings, until we treat it fair and, and equal with the same merits that we get. I pay the same taxes as a Caucasian pays. You know what I mean? Well, I, actually, you pay more than Trump, so you pay more taxes than him. I, well, everybody pay more. more than Trump. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Our born babies pay more than Trump does. <laughs> that's another episode. Again, Shit. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> and, and it's sad because that that's, that's unfortunately, that's the world that we live in. We live in a world now where the president of the United States, who they consider as the leader of the free world, can go on TV and talk about how he keep TikToks in his pocket because in case he just feel like kissing a woman, he, he's admittedly a rapist. Talking about he just go around grabbing women by the vagina. Dude, and he's still in office. Not I'm the vagina, I'm not, I don't pay taxes. I never pay taxes. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna pay no taxes. <laughs> yeah. but, but he's still the president. Yep. I don't understand how we live in a society where we can see all these infallible just screw-ups. And nothing is done except for a news story. That's not enough. That's not enough, yo. We 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 have to find a way to come together and, and, and invoke real, real change. Because, like I said, that if it was no, if it's no, justice, if we don't go out and vote this yeah, time, that's 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 one of the places that if we, can we start. don't go out and vote and Absolutely. get these people out of there. Yeah, we have 
to vote and get these people out of it because our lives do depend mm-hmm. on this. Yeah, yeah. Literally. It don't matter if it depends on it. does. Yeah. It does depend on it. You already see them killing us left and right. Nobody doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Pass the fires. Let that one officer go into jail. Let that other one. Oh, the same city. I don't know if y'all remember. Indian officer killed that white lady for knocking on his window. It was outside. She had called the police about something. But anyway, he ended up killing her. How come he got 15 years? Right. Same city. Yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. Over. Paid her family 55 yeah. million. Yeah. Paid her family 55, 55 but million. Killer just got 12. 55 million. Her family got. It's crazy. Same time. Breonna Taylor's got what? 12? We got to go out and vote and get these people out of here. It's the pe- yeah. it's the power. Yeah. 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 If we don't have that power, power, yeah, you, we can't do anything. Nothing. On all levels. Local, federal, all levels. People think, oh, just the president, I don't want to vote. No, you better vote for your little mayor. Exactly. <laughs> you're a politician there that's in yeah. your city. Well, okay? Especially on the local level. He's running you. He's going to raise your taxes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. We definitely need and you guys out there. It doesn't necessarily have to be people that look like you. Yeah. yeah. It does yeah. not necessarily have to be people that look like you. Look at the AG. What color is he? Yeah. Okay. And, and, yeah. and Do your research. It's, it's obviously this this election. Well, every election obviously is important, but this one is is extra important for a lot of different reasons. But one of those reasons, and I was just talking, my wife and I were just having a discussion about this, is is because redistricting happens this year, because this was a census year, mm-hmm. right? So whoever yeah. ends up getting an office, whether it be the Democrats or the Republicans, whoever it is, they're going to be able to redistrict within their states, all right, and there's going to be a lot of gerrymandering mm-hmm. going on. So <laughs> people, and, and I know there's a lot to that. A lot of people may not even understand what all of that means, but do your research on that. Look, look, mm-hmm. look, in, look it up. What I'm just, what I'm saying about this, how this is a, uh, uh, an election where in a year where we're going to be doing redistricting within states, yeah, what exactly. gerrymandering is all about. If you don't understand it, look it all up. That's, that might be even more important than, 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 you know, going out to vote just because of Trump to get him out of office. <laughs> that part of it might be more important. You know? Exactly. Yeah, we definitely got a lo- we definitely got to vote on the local level. Exactly. Like you know how I feel on the whole vote thing, but my black behind will be in the booth this year right here, bro. You better you know be. Saying? Rest in peace again, John Lewis, man. Like I said, it matters. I, I would not. I would not disrespect this man. I like people. You know, growing up in church, I, I like people. Not just spiritual people, but I like people that just, I rather, I got a saying that I always say. I can show you better than I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that wholeheartedly. That's yeah. that's my saying. I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I say I don't rock with you, don't wonder why I ain't calling you, why I ain't texting you. I don't rock with you. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell you that I don't Action rock with you. Actions speak louder than words. That I don't rock with you. That's right. You know what I mean? Exactly. And this man literally gave his life literally gave his life, not just so that his children can vote, yeah. but so that I can vote, so that my children can vote for my mm-hmm. great-grandchildren, generations. whoever, generations to come. So it, it would be totally disrespectful for us not to turn out a record numbers to, to, to honor this man's memory, his legacy, and his life, what he stood for and what he showed us. Like, he ain't talk about it. He, he, he showed us. I'm going to take he this because I believe, I believe yeah, in our right to vote. So, you know, like I said, I don't care how you feel about the whole voting process because I am not big on it, but me, myself, I would encourage everybody else that don't really care about it or to say your, ma- your vote don't matter. Hit them polls this year, yo. It's very important. And it especially in your local level. level. Why do you think they trying to stop us from voting if Absolutely. our vote don't count? Exactly. Why are they trying so hard for us not to vote? Mm-hmm. I told Good people question. that I told somebody that the other day. Why you think they making it so hard? Cause your vote counts, sweetie. Mm-hmm. That's why they making it voter suppression, this and all. That. I wonder why. Yeah. Why yeah. they don't want us to vote? Yep. Okay. You know what? Think why? about that. Cause your we do counts. matter. Not just our Black Lives Matter. We matter. We <laughs> <Okay>. matter. Period. <laughs> we matter. Period. Right. Right. People exactly. need to get out and vote. There's, there's no it's question. Crazy. About that. Man. I mean, yeah. 
And we done, like I said, I'm definitely never done it before. You you <laughs> you need to be doing it this year. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm. Let me ask you: did, it, did any of you guys actually see the incident report that the police filed after all this was over? I didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah, I've seen, I seen, the, I seen the police, the incident report, right? Mm -hmm. You know how it is. You know, you've been in the military. Anytime anything going like that did, you have to do the incident report. Absolutely. Put it on paper, the file. The That's incident exactly report. what happened. That they had the audacity to file after they murdered that young girl. They got her name up there. You know what they got under bodily injuries? None. What? The incident what? report said what? she had no injuries nothing, whatsoever. Nothing in the report. Wow. Nothing. A in murder the just took place, nothing. but there's no nothing. injuries to report. Even though you shot somebody eight times. Yeah. But yet, no. Unbelievable. We we're wrong for talking about defunding the police and all this here. And I'm like, I tell I tell people, even me, with that there, like I. It goes back to the same thing we've been saying. It doesn't matter about defunding until we change the infrastructure and the structure, the way it's things different. are designed to work. None of this is going to matter. It doesn't matter if you take police money away. If you're going to steal, all they're going to do is cover it up under another mind frame. You know what I mean? But they're going to make sure that the system works the way that they want it to work. But defunding is part of making the changes it's that's that's part of it that's part of breaking the system there are mm -hmm. a lot of different things that have to take place obviously to to kind of undermine these this 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 systemic racism that goes on um which obviously is at the very foundation of this country this country was built on on systemic racism and white supremacy and and so forth and so on mm -hmm. but in order to break that defunding the police is part of it it's 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 part of it. I know what you're saying, and I agree. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, the start of it have to these things have to change. But that's just part. That's one of one little aspect of breaking the system and trying to make changes would be the funding, uh, defunding the police. You know, do you think that's a possibility have, that we'll actually see? Huh? Do you think that's a possibility that we'll actually see in places? Yeah. Uh, um, in fact, it's already started in some places, in some some major Minnesota, Minneapolis, actually, um, in a couple of other places, they've already started to do it. Um, my fear is that you already see, you know, after the George Floyd thing, this 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 thing I, I called it. You know, sometimes we we have a, a a moment, and sometimes we have a movement. After George Floyd, this whole thing became a movement. It was not just a moment; it was a movement. But you can already see it starting to die down. All right, the, the focus, um, the news isn't focusing on it as much anymore. You know, people who, you know, I have white friends and associates who were calling me and saying, what can I do? This is bullshit. We got to make changes. That's not happening anymore. They may have read a book. They may have donated a little money to, you know, the NAACP or some cause, but people are going back to normal. And that's my fear. My fear is that you know, you had these handful of places that started to defund police, but now because it's no longer a thing, they don't have a real need in their minds to do it. Some of these other places, they're like, eh, well, you know, we're not gonna worry about it now since people don't seem to be focused on it anymore. Let's go ahead and go back to doing what we were doing and not even worry about that. You know, and that that's the problem right there. So. Well, and, and, and we, I saw we got something this recently that going said, on. I'm sorry. Ahead, it, it I'm said sorry. that uh, um, it said the the safest communities are not the ones with the most police. It's the ones with the most resources, and that's what defunding the police is all about. It's about taking money from the police and putting them toward resources that can help make communities safer. You know, make make you know that will help the education that will go toward all the things that's necessary to making neighborhoods safe and reducing crime. All right, so that's where the safest neighborhoods are. It's where the resources are provided, not where the most cops are, not where over policing takes place. And that's what defunding police is all about. You know. Go ahead, Jim. What were you gonna say? I wanted to say, I wanted to say, um, 
the reason I believe that the that the funding kind of slowed down the police, we got a lot of distraction going on, called Trump and the election. <laughs> So that kind of got pushed to the side, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all the yeah. media is focusing on now. The elections, election, be something days away. They're counting the days. We got a countdown. So yeah. yeah, that's I don't think they stopped though. We're just not hearing as much about it because of Trump and the, the elections. Like tonight, they got the, the debate going on. I don't even want right. to watch that. I'm not even gonna entertain Me that. Either. But the elections oh, are in the forefront. The Supreme Court, who he's picking, all of that's in the forefront. And yeah. and and like he said. We got one black channel. I think Diddy got his own network. When Oprah was, I don't count her no more, but yeah. Diddy got his own network, <laughs> you know, that needs to bring out the giving us the black news. We need to be, that's that's power again. The, they control the freaking media. Everything that gets, everything we get fed. We don't know if they telling us the truth. Well, we know what they ain't telling us the truth half the time, yeah. you yeah. know? So we got one black network, Diddy, to, 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 to give us the real deal. And we don't even know if that's true, but you know, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take it. But <laughs> it's, it's too many distractions going on right now, you know what I'm saying? For them to just keep feeding us that because they probably don't want to defund the police anyway. So they you think they're going to talk about it all the time? Yeah, yeah. They, they, we ain't going to hear it on the media all the time. That's for sure. That, 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 yeah, they're, they're against that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much other stuff, too many other distractions going on. 37 days, people. Yes. We're gonna have a new president though. I believe, I believe he's gonna go. I believe too many Republicans have turned and really see for what he is. Hell, he he is he embarrasses himself every day if you're yeah. talking every day. They really see with well, damn, I voted for this fool. I'm not voting for him this time. I really think he's gonna go if everybody get out there. I, I, I hear you, but I'm not as optimistic. I think it's I think it's some of them out there, but I don't think it's enough of them. <laughs> no, nah, she she's I, right. I, do. They're, they're, I, I really do. Yeah, and if you look, if you look at the um, you know, just the, the amount of votes that he got versus what Hillary got back in 2016. All right, she won a popular vote. Yeah. That's not why she lost. There are more people who voted for her than him. And there are going to be right. even more people this time that will vote Democrat versus Trump. There's going to be more. That's exactly. guaranteed. I'm 100% sure of that. Even if he wins the presidency, he is not. He absolutely is not going to win the popular vote. He will not. But no, that's yeah. the fear. The fear is the, no. All of the suppression and, and all of these different things, the, all of the, the, you know, Russia interfering, all these other things that are going on, that's my fear. My fear is that that's how the election is going to get stolen. Not because there's not enough people out there to vote him out. I guarantee you, I am 100% sure if you were to eliminate all of the bullshit that's going on, all of the, again, the suppression of votes, the interference from outside countries, from all these other different things, if you take all that out of the equation, Biden would beat him in an absolute landslide. All right, but it's that other yeah. stuff. I was about that's to say, though, so, but that, at the end of the day, it's just like you said, with that Olympics, same thing, same, not the Olympics, but the, the presidential race, same thing with the Gore. What difference do it make if if he loses the popular vote, but wins the electoral vote, he ain't gonna win. Yeah, uh, and He's and I agree. I you know, He's and if he wins the electoral, win. you know, if he gets all the um, you know, obviously, electoral college is an antiquated system anyway that needs to be revamped and actually doesn't even need to be, well, done. It be abolished. It to be done away with. No, it, it needs to be gone. gone. Yeah, it needs to be that gone. Needs to be gone. Um, but yeah, in in and you're right. But that's my whole point. That's my point. What you just said is my point. And it's all these other outside things that are taking place that makes me fear he will win. Now, I hope I'm wrong. Lord knows I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> no, you're wrong. No. You're wrong. Let's speak that into existence. You're wrong. Listen, he let me tell you win. something. If, if, if I am, I'll be the first one sitting up here offering you a drink. Like, look, I am so happy I was wrong. <laughs> okay. I... I <laughs> uh, uh, Johnny Apple, Tennessee. <laughs> wow. and, and, and I'm not saying that he's yeah. going to. That's not yeah, what I'm, saying. I'm not saying he is. I just, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I'm afraid know. that he might because of all the other stuff. 
That's too many influences. Yeah. yeah. Too many influences. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there's quite I'm a few of them. There's quite I'm a few hopeful. of them out there. Man. I am certainly hopeful for sure. So. All right. So, like, we're going to wrap up soon, man. But, um, Man, people, like I said, I mean, I we I guess we went there to go. We went that way because that's the way the door led us, and that's what it meant to be. But this is this is a tragedy. This this was heartbreaking. Once again, my prayers are with you know Tamika Palmer, her mom, the rest of her family. Just get out there and vote. You know, we, we got to get out there and do something. Like I said, it doesn't matter whether you think it makes a difference or not. We we passed Black Lives Matter now. We matter, period. And that's in every aspect in life. That's in the workforce. You know, have that mentality that you matter. So, you know, adapt that. And, and before I let them close out with their closing remarks, I just feel led to share this with you guys. You know, um, we living in heightened time. And, you know, do whatever you got to do to protect your family. But at the same time, be, people be prayerful. If you believe in prayer, stay prayed up, stay prayerful, and keep your head on the swivel, as they say in, in football. Because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of the, the debates and stuff. I've been seeing having friends, seeing friends post the father with his four daughters, and they all got the M16s, and he teach them how to shoot. Everybody like, yeah, this is, you know. And I'm saying what I'm saying, what I'm saying is remove yourself from the emotions and from what you see, turn your eyes off for a second and look at it from the big picture. You know, I do I do believe that this is a ploy for the enemy, because the more that is documented, the more that is known that we are bearing arms and we will protect ourselves at all costs, it's just going to give them more reason to come after us with excessive force. Being that you, you're registered as a gun holder and it's on record, okay, I know he has a gun in there. <laughs> but they don't have that mentality How many? on Billy How many in does he County and shoot all day, you know, eight hours a day. They're not coming to get him with the same angst that they're coming to get us. So protect your families. If you decide to arm yourself, that's your right. But I'm just saying, be careful on how you put that information out there, you know, and, and, and you know, like I said, once again, from the streets, I'm quite sure it's the same, I'd imagine the same way in the military. You ain't supposed to pull no weapon out unless you about to use it. Point blank period. You don't never, you don't use no gun. That's, not a, that's right. not a need to know if you even have one. It, exactly. You don't have a need to know if I even got one. That's my whole point, you know. Not so we need, need to learn to how to move it. You know, get, get yourself ready, but learn how to move in silence, too. You know, sometimes you run your mouth, like put yourself in positions that you don't want to be in. You know, so just keep that in mind, you know, because I, I remember even when, um, I, I remember even when the whole lockdown stuff first started. I know this guy, he's a big gun guy. And he talking, and we sitting there, was a bunch of guys talking one day. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, they know this here and that there. And I, and I said, I said, I said, I'm not telling you this to be mean. I said, but I'm telling you this from there's somebody somewhere that has this mindset. I said, now, we can't find no toilet tissue nowhere in the state. Can't nobody find no toilet tissue. Can't nobody find no Lysol. It's, I mean, we just, it's gone. You got to go a two or three hour job just to find some toilet tissue. If we get into a place with every dog, every man for himself, and I'm out here trying to find tissue, I'm out here trying to find meat because we don't have any more meat. I'm trying to have trying to find the necessities for to take care of my family. And everybody else on the block is doing this every single day, except for you. Guess what? Guess who the first house I'm gonna come get? Because it has to be a reason that he's never leaving the house. Now I already know that you you packing you in this. Up but at the already. same time, <laughs> got something in there that I need, and I gotta feed my kids. You see what I'm saying? So that's my whole point. And hey, 
stop putting all your business out in the street. You know what I'm saying? Because people are watching, whether they let you know they're watching or not. People are watching, and people pay attention to stuff like that. Then, it's sad to say, but we we that that's that's the reality of the world that we live in. So, for you know, take care of your family, but be smart on how you go about that. You know what I'm saying? That would be my word of advice for y'all. And then, like I said, I mean, just a personal thing. I feel like, you know, somebody, well, somebody else did tell me the same thing, but, you know, I said, I was saying back in March, I really feel like my birthday is when things was going to get crazy for real. Like, what we experienced the last six months, I honestly feel like that was nothing. Well, whenever this next wave or whatever comes, when it comes, it's going to hit hard. So be careful, stay prayed up, because one of the things that I was trying to tell people was, you know, they talk about we need to go back to a lockdown. This country, this, this country has never been in a, a, a real lockdown. You know what I mean? Because you, I, I still been going to work every day. I'm still going to the grocery store every day. I was still going to get gas every day. A lockdown mean a lockdown. You ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't need no nowhere. gas and you can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like we and and I, and I feel like that was what they wanted to do, but they couldn't do it because of when the virus hit during the summertime, when it's warm outside. There's too many people out for you to be able to contain that. As it gets colder and it's, it's smaller crowds, it's going to be easier to enforce. So be real careful about all that. Did well, they got they set these curfews. Man, I ain't tripping off no curfew. Hey, listen, the cold they get. And the less people outside, the more we're going to see just how, what they're capable of really doing. So be mindful of that there. You know, don't be, don't live in fear because we, we, we don't, we not, we don't live in fear, but be smart. That's all I would say on that end. Uh, Jill, what you got for the people as we wrap up? There's a theory out there, all these protests going on, New York, everywhere, Chicago. Keep protesting. Donald Trump, he already sent the National Guard and all that stuff to Oregon, Washington. Y'all see that. He saw them shoulders over there. He's trying to implement martial law. If he does martial law, you really ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Tell him what martial law is. Yeah. You got troops on the street. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Then look, you can't go nowhere. You can't go vote. Guess who stay in power? So be mindful, people out there protesting. I'm not telling you not to protest. Do it peacefully as best you can. But that's an agenda that I've heard that he has. Try to implement martial law. But like you said, protect yourself. Stay in the house. When you got to go out, don't go out. Go vote. Please go vote. Mm -hmm. And I believe in Breonna Taylor's case, everything's going to come to light because it's coming to light right now. At day by day, hour by hour, Everything is coming to light. And God gonna shed light on that. He gonna get justice for that girl. And I pray for the family, but I know she, she gonna get justice because what you do in the dark, come to the light all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what I got. Thank you for having me. No doubt, no doubt. Thank you no for doubt. having me. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you was able to do this. And I appreciate you know that I love you, girl. Love you what too. What you got, Ken? I just want to talk about real quick this the the importance of voting and and here's the thing if you're a black person somebody down in your ancestry line survived being chained to another human being survived being whipped mm. survived being raped survived being told what God to serve some white blue-eyed blind head God to serve uh, took the last name of slave owners learn to read and write out of sheer will, fought, did everything in their power so that the generations to come, being our generations, would have the right to vote, would have the right to, to, to be able to get educated, to have all the rights, all the things that we have. Because quite frankly, as bad as things are, things are a lot better than they used to be, than they were for our ancestors. Yeah. All right, so they went through all of that so that we would have all these rights. And one of those rights mm -hmm. is the right to vote. All right, so don't you dare, don't you dare let them down. Don't you dare mm -hmm. let them down. 
not this year or any year again going forward. All right. Mm -mm. It's a slap in the face to all of them, not just John Lewis, but all of them, all of them, the ones unnamed, you know, that are actually in your in your ancestry line, not just John Lewis. You know, it's a slap in the face to them to not get out there and vote and do your part, regardless of your feelings on whether or not you think your vote counts or not, because the fact is, it does. All right. So get out and vote. I like that. Well said, bro. Well said, man. And it's funny. And I'm glad you guys ended it the same way you did when you say get out and vote. I need everybody to do exactly that. Get out and vote. Don't, I mean, I'm anti-mask too. That's a whole nother show. But guess what? I'm going to have my mask on. With you too. I'm going I'm to have my mask on. People mask, get yeah. your mask on <laughs> and hit the polls. Like, go out and vote. Don't mail in nothing. Don't do none of this. Like, dude, the dude really still the mailboxes, bro. <laughs> Like, how you got people pulling up, ripping up? That's mailboxes. another episode. <laughs> like, like so don't, 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 don't say, well, I mail my vote in and my voice. No. Make sure you go pull the lever. You go check your little square, however, whatever it is in the little booth that you go with. Make sure you go all and right. vote in person. We're not going to do all this mailing because we're going to, I know you with take me, your family with you. I'm going to make sure my vote is, my vote is, my vote is actually counted. I want a pistol in my hand. Like <laughs> the whole SAT test, checking all my square, whatever. You know what I mean? I, I want my I want my vote to be counted. I want to know that I actually voted. I don't want to win the one day if it winds up in Guam or Russia, Czechoslovakia, <laughs> so <laughs> like no, literally go out to the polls and vote, man. You know, with that being said, man, you know, you two guys, y'all sit tight. But fans know that I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna be back next Tuesday for another show. We're getting closer to this election. As usual, like they, everybody said, get out there and vote. And go vote. Like we've been saying for months, don't forget her name. There's so many other it's sad that there's so many names. It's, it's too many names and actually name, but don't let Brianna Keller name go in vain. Let's fight till we see justice for this young lady, for her family, and you know, for us as a people. Like let let's 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 work on this. Exactly. Don't it ain't about out here going out here being stupid, flipping over cars and all that. There, you know what I mean. We we gonna try to be peaceful as possible. We don't want to give them no reason to do more than what they already doing. You know, like you said, you, you got the National Guard shooting people up there in Oregon. Like, got the, I seen another group of mothers where they go out there in locked arms in front of the police yes. and the protesters to protect them yep. and the police. Officers started SWAT started shooting bean bags at them. Mothers, defenders, women out here locked arms, just trying to keep the peace. So listen, people, we living in some real That's times. Man. We living in real times and, and, and treated as such. Having said that, know that I love you guys. You guys are in my prayer. Thank you for your time. And as usual, in closing, DeAndre and Lysa, know that Daddy loves you intentionally, but I also love you unconditionally. So next week. Peace.